Hello everybody, Hooded Cobra Commander 788 here, and this is a quick look at Scrap Iron, the Cobra Anti-Armor Specialist from 1984. This figure included an impressive set of accessories, including a very large accessory in the missile launcher. This was exceptional in 1984. Let's take a look at those accessories now. This missile launcher, depending on how you count it, is eight pieces. It includes this wire. It's made of a black, soft, flexible plastic. Uh, it fits into the top in this hole on the launcher and it has this control stick which will fit in the action figure's hand and that is made of soft plastic so you can fit it in the figure's hand without breaking the thumb. Inside the missile launcher there are two identical red missiles. These missiles are also soft and flexible. They are not a rigid plastic so they are not likely to break and the red and black color scheme match very well with the figure. The missile box itself is well detailed. It has vents on the side and technical detail on the top. The box is made of two pieces, a top and bottom piece. Then there is the stand on the bottom of the launcher, and this is three pieces. It has two leg pieces for a total of four legs, and then it has a connector piece that pegs onto the launcher box itself. As impressive as this accessory is, it is static. It is on a stand, and there is no practical way for scrap iron to carry it. The one thing that would have made this accessory perfect Perfect is a peg somewhere so Scrap Iron could carry it on his back. We're not done with accessories. He included one more. He had a black pistol, a unique pistol, and it looks pretty good. Looking at the figure itself, it is a very Cobra looking figure, isn't it? He has colors we commonly associate with Cobra. He has blue, red, and black. He even has a couple Cobras on him. He has a sculpted on Cobra on his helmet. He also has a Cobra on his sleeve. Despite the strong Cobra theme, according to his file card, he actually works for Destro. That's right, the Cobra Anti-Armor Specialist actually worked for Destro, Cobra's weapon supplier. Destro did eventually get his own team, but Scrap Iron was not included. Scrap Iron is a very unique looking figure, but he's actually a clever reuse of parts. For instance, he reuses the arms and lower legs of G.I. Joe's Airborne from 1983. You may not notice because the color change is so drastic it bears little resemblance to those original parts. Scrap Iron also became a parts donor. His legs were used to create some versions of the G.I. Joe mail away figure Steel Brigade. Scrap Iron is a figure about which there is much to say, despite the fact that he had few G.I. Joe media appearances and no other vintage versions. This is a figure I've done a full review on, but that was a very long time ago, and this is one that definitely needs a second look. That was a quick look at Scrap Iron. I hope you enjoyed it. I have been redoing some of my older reviews lately, and this is definitely Definitely one that needs to be redone. Please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to the YouTube channel for full vintage G.I. Joe toy reviews. I have a huge back catalog of G.I. Joe reviews. Please check those out. I'm on social media on Facebook and Twitter and I have a website hcc788.com. Support the channel on Patreon so I can continue doing these reviews. I will see you next time and until then remember only G.I. Joe is G.I. Joe.